So that those state as the political parties get ready to decide who will be flying the flag, you know, come uh, November uh, for the governorship election. Political analyst and lecturer at the University of Benin, Dr. Frank Amego, uh, joins me on the program this evening. Thank you for joining us on Beyond 100 Days. So a lot is happening at once. APC is holding fresh primaries after three winners emerged last week. PDP is split in two uh, with tribal emerging winner at a primary primary Iswa Igodalo has also been announced winner in another. The Labour Party National Chairman and the State Chairman were arrested yesterday, a day before party primary. What would you say makes this year's election so dramatic? Yes, there has been tension here and there. And so far, so good. There is no tension in Benin. And by extension, there are those states everywhere is calm. Unlike what happened last week. After one of the political parties did their uh, prim uh, primaries on Saturday, and several facilities were touched, including Lodge View. And from the news we've gathered, the property destroyed there is worth over 200 million naira, and it's still counting. And one will wonder what, why such a thing will happen. But it's not so far from the narratives of, of endorsement. It was so clear that some personalities among the aspirants were having uh, cases of endorsements here and there. And that was what panned out to have three uh, flag bearers, as it were, in the just concluded uh, primaries of last Saturday. I'm sure by now every person has learned his or her lessons to have a better primaries because it will go a long way to determine how votes will be cast come September uh, later in the year. Mm. Because I've, I, I've observed personally that internal democracy does not run in various parties. And all party leaders and stakeholders must have their hands on deck to ensure that uh, they carry on the best primaries. Mm. So far, PDP has been calm and uh, everybody, everybody must not win. So uh, his democracy is a simple majority that, that takes the day. Uh, so who has not won now will win some other time. So we are awaiting that of the APC. I'm sure by now they are still collating. And that of Labour Party, uh, I think is the idea is it's tomorrow or, or next. So, so far, so good. Uh, I want to ask that the primaries be well conducted to give a platform for various electorates to decide what candidate or what party Indeed. to vote for. Absolutely. So the Dr. various Amigo, political parties you have the responsibility. You mentioned yes. that the PDP has been calm, um, but we've seen two candidates yes. emerge. Um, did you see that coming? The deputy governor also has emerged in a, par in a parallel primary that happened today. Yes, that, that can happen because of desperation. Is desperation and uh, that does not in any way lead to democracy. And the, the level of desperation has to be contained so that we don't tr throw the state into a uh, chaos. Uh, what has been happening, uh, I think the party leadership will be able to resolve that in a very short while. Otherwise, it will affect their outcome come September later in the year. So I think other political parties will follow suit to ensure that we don't be to have three as we had last weekend. Maybe one will represent uh, do North, the other do South, the other do Central. We now have three governors in the state. Uh, I'm sure that that would have been fully mitigated. PDP should learn a great lesson. They did it before, and this is our second opportunity, and most likely the last opportunity. So it's out of uh, desperation we're having two candidates now. I'm sure the National Working Committee will do the needful towards arriving at only one uh, flag bearer for the forthcoming governorship elections. But if you follow the deputy governor's position, according to him, his delegates were not allowed into the venue of the primary election, and that's perhaps why they held it somewhere else. But um, let's talk about what seems a strong advocacy for a candidate to emerge from Edo Centra. How much impact do you think that is having on the primary elections um, yeah. across the parties? Uh, in the Edo Centra, so far, for reasons not known to me, have appeared 
the people have appeared marginalized. So it's just like a, uh, an agreement between different parties to ensure that we have a, can a governorship candidate from the Edo Central. And that's why everybody has sympathy for them, including me. Uh, uh, we're sympathizing with the Edo Central. Edo North has had its own feel. Edo South has. Uh, why not Edo Central? They are part of the state. So if there's democracy, and uh, truly there's democracy, each segment of the state should have a positive impact to make by way of contributing their quote. So Edo Central, yes, even at the presidency, everywhere, everybody wants Edo Central. So much talked about marginalization here and there. So let's give them that opportunity. If well, it's blown, you know that that's okay. Thank we, God we, we did. You know that we we can give them the opportunity. It largely depends on you know the powers now lie in the hands of the delegates and I think party members in areas where there are direct primaries. But it also depends on who you're talking to. You know, I have spoken with candidates from Edo North who would tell you that Edo has had two governors from the centre and only one from the north, and 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 that's the comrade governor who had eight years. But quickly, let us touch on what um, let us touch on what's happening within the Labour Party. Um, just yesterday, yes. um, uh, um, I think is um, one of the aspirants, uh, Ulumidi Akpata, who mentioned that um, yes. Kenneth um, Imaswagbo, you know, has lied as to whether or not he was directly involved in how the chairman of the party was arrested. So much division within the Labour Party that won the presidential election in a dose state. Mm. What do you think is happening there? And how do you think it will impact on the party's chances in this election? Yes, it doesn't matter the arrest. What matters is the legitimacy of the arrest. Is the person arrested culpable of that arrest? Then whatever the game plan has been by the rice man, popular called the rice man, Kenema Swagmo, uh, is from the Edo Central. It's just like going to buy a chicken in the market. The seller will spread, will spread the wings to show to you how big the chicken looks. Why the buyer will collapse the, the wings to show to the seller how small the chicken is. So it is a bargain. And everybody wants to showcase what your she is made of. So what both parties are doing, what Pata said, what Kenny uh, Masabon said, everything is geared towards having uh, the sympathy of the delegates. So, but as to the arrest, I don't have any challenge with this. What matters is the legitimacy. Was he rightly or wrongly arrested? If he was rightly arrested, he should face the cost or the consequences. If uh, wrongly arrested, there uh, should be some piece of apologies uh, given to him. So, to me, that should not affect the, the outcome of the primaries that will hold some hours from now. So uh, I tell you, every Edo Central man is highly motivated, activated to ensure that any candidate that comes from Edo Central will be voted for. They so are that's, well activated that's also, for it. That's also the Different point for me, it. you know, uh, Dr. Abigail, because um, yes. Edo people are said to be politically con conscious and active. Should it, should it be a function yes. of where a candidate comes from or the capacity of that candidate to deliver? You know, beyond ethnic sentiments yes. and regional politics, do you think that the Edo electorate have the capacity to elect the most, ca the most capable of the candidates, irrespective of where they come from? Yes, uh, as you have asked me rightly now, I also answer you rightly, that I am from Edo South, the cause of Edo Central presenting a candidate is long overdue. I'm from Edo South. I'm not from Central. So let's give them a chance. And it's not about ethnicity. They have the capacity to deliver. They have the platform to deliver. They, they, they have been on ground over the years. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a card-carrying uh, person in any of the part, political parties. But as, as a watcher of the political events that are unfolding uh, time and time again, I think uh, who is coming from Edo Central now uh, has known the terrain very well, and that's why they are all coming out. 
from PDP, from APC, from Labour Party, they are ready. They, 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 they feel it's their turn. They are like a, a, a middle call in the two states. It's their turn, and they, they are not a pushover. If given the opportunity, it's the opportunity I've been asking for over the years. And now they have the opportunity, and is moving in the direction that uh, whatever party that will present Edo Central will likely win. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, maybe it is a projection because everybody is activated. As, well, as the point you raised earlier on, that Edo not said only one candidate, or only one person has come from there to be governor. Edo Central is only one. Late Ambrose Ali, Professor Osareme Osumbo, uh, you know what, 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 what happened to him? He was governor so for he, about he a year, too. Osumbo as a, yes, and he was asked to serve that. The law court said he should serve that. So you can't account for that stewardship. If you have mentioned the governors of Edo State from inception, there is no way Osumbo's name will be there. The name can't be there. Because by the, the, the judgment of the court, it was not qualified to be governor. So you told not write someone's name that was not qualified to be governor as one of the former governors. So Edo Central has produced only one person as a governor. And that was so, so many years ago. And because of the disposition of uh, Professor Ambrose Ali, the, the Edo Central have the view that they could hold a better sway in the governorship of the state, draw inspiration from what Ambrose Ali did of blessed memory. Mm. So they, they are they, they're thinking, which I'm also aligning with, that let's give them an opportunity. We well, want a better Edo state. Edo South has presented several candidates over the years. Edo North has done this part. Let the central also do his own. So by that, on, it's a simple understanding. It's not where gazetted anywhere. Mm. It's not in any uh, party or national constitution. By simple reasoning, let Edo Central have a feel of Osadebe Avenue. Why not? So if as an ESA man, you are interested, you can come through any platform, any of the political platforms. Mm. And that's why they are coming, PDP, APC, and the uh, Labour Party. So let them have a feel. Because there are a lot of them have been tested, maybe not yet trusted, about governors, about leadership, about what they're capable of doing. It's not a case, making a case for ethnicity. They have the capacity. Their pedigrees are well known. So it's not as if we are trying to cede it to them All right. by way of, okay, it's your turn. No. Even if it's their turn, they, they, they have the capacity. They have what it takes to ensure that uh, those states is moved from where it is now All right. to the next level. I, I hear you clearly. So it still sounds like the Emiloko mantra, like a central stone. <laughs> we see how it turns yeah, out, um, yeah. Doctor. Yeah, not necessarily. In the not COVID days. No, 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 but that is what it means, you know, to in the, if we are mm. translating that mantra literally, that's just what you have mm. said. That we should literally that they should I, allow I them to literally <laughs> Yes, let peace reign. Let All right. have uh, a stable polity. Yes, uh, uh, those south is just ending its tenure. If you move from south, there's a there's a place you must get to. You get to the north. Is it those central? We see. After we Ado see. Central, we might go back to. We see how it turns again. out in the coming days. Um, we have run out of time, Dr. Frank Amavo. Amago is a political analyst, a lecturer at the College of Medical Sciences, University of Benin. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on the program. Uh, I appreciate you. Thanks. Interesting developments coming from Edo State. PDP has now decided um, Aswell Godalo at the Samalog Bermuda Stadium, but also the deputy governor says he's emerged in a parallel primary. We're waiting on uh, how APC would decide um, the uh, coalition center is expected to come alive any moment from now. And the Liberal Party also will go to the polls tomorrow to decide who their candidate will be in Edo. Uh, keep, uh, keep it locked on TVC News as we follow these developments closely. I'll be back at 7 p.m. with more updates for you. I'm Nifemi Ogunto. Do join us again.